There have been many arguments that the Great Zimbabwe Tower was a copy of a grain bin, and there have been other fanciful theories about it. Although some archaeologists have noted the Muslim connection, there has been an amazing reluctance to accept what it really is. Unfortunately, some of these theories have been put into guidebooks and accepted as general history. Many Zimbabweans would hate to hear that a foreign Arab was responsible for building what is now a symbol of the country. About 1721 AD, the governor of Goa in India wrote, There is a report that in the interior, many affirm there is in the court of the Monomatop a tower or edifice of worked masonry which appears evidently not to be the work of black natives. So at this period it was well known that Great Zimbabwe and its tower were not a Bantu construction. This is also supported by the report by De Barras in about 1600. The minaret has been called the symbol of Islam. It is usually a tower attached to or near the prayer hall. There was a place called Bajil in the Tahama near the Red Sea. This had a circular fortress and a conical tower like the Zimbabwe one, showing that the Yemen is a likely source of influence. At the Great Enclosure we have a large minaret with a smaller one nearby and they were close to what would have been the prayer hall. Some of the first minarets used by Islam were solid constructions with external stairs to climb to the top. They also were in many cases truncated cones. The Great Zimbabwe Tower has all the qualities of an early minaret. The staircase leading to the balcony for the museum was used to make the call to prayer. The minarets at the Great Enclosure, according to tradition, did have steps leading to its top, as did some other others in smaller ruins in Zimbabwe. There is also a tradition at Great Zimbabwe of people calling from its top. In the traditions of the later Bantu at Great Zimbabwe, the top of the tower was reached by a ladder. They reported that it had been used to call people and had been used for guarding the Great Enclosure. Caton Thompson drew attention to the similarity of a Zanzibar minaret to the Great Zimbabwe one. This mosque built in 1860 was decorated with a double chevron pattern in the wall similar to that found at Great Zimbabwe. The original dental pattern at the top of the Great Zimbabwe Tower also supports the view that it was a minaret. This dental pattern on the top of this tower inclined mainly towards the setting sun. <clears throat> there were four other small conical towers in these ruins, all associated with Q walling. One is close to the big one, while others are found in the Possaults and Phillips ruins, and one forms a part of the wall of the Artspan ruins. The Tati ruins in Botswana are interesting in that they were drawn, before being knocked down, with two bands of herringbone pattern around the outer wall. It also had a big tower depicted like the one at Great Zimbabwe. The tower is said to have been nearly 30 feet high and the walls of the ruins were 15 feet high in places. It may have had the same purpose but as a lesser Muslim settlement.